From haunting incidents of the Japan Airlines Flight 123 crash in 1985 to the Swiss Air Flight 111 electrical fire in 1998, these horrifying incidents have resulted in the loss of numerous lives and have brought immense grief to families and communities around the globe. If you're truly amazed with air disaster, don't leave the screen. And don't forget to press the like button, subscribe and comment. Let's get it on. While air travel remains one of the safest modes of transportation, the world has witnessed devastating air disasters that have left an indelible mark on the history of aviation. A United States Air Force B-52 bomber crashed during an air show practice at Fairchild Air Force Base in Washington State. The crash occurred after the aircraft attempted a maneuver beyond its operational limits, resulting in the deaths of all four crew members. An Airbus A320 crashed into a residential area near Jinnah International Airport in Karachi, Pakistan. The crash resulted in the deaths of 97 out of 99 people on board, as well as several people on the ground. The crash was attributed to a combination of human error and technical issues. Oh, he just crashed. Oh. The Airbus A330-200 crashed into the Atlantic Ocean during a flight from Rio de Janeiro to Paris. The crash was caused by a combination of technical malfunctions and pilot error, resulting in the loss of all 228 people on board. A Boeing 747-100 suffered a catastrophic failure of its rear pressure bulkhead, leading to the loss of control and subsequent crash. 520 people were killed, making it the deadliest single aircraft accident in history. The McDonnell Douglas MD-11 aircraft crashed into the Atlantic Ocean near Nova Scotia, Canada, due to an electrical fire. All 229 passengers and crew on board perished. The Airbus A321 crashed in the Sinai Peninsula, Egypt, shortly after taking off from Sharm El Sheikh International Airport. The crash was caused by a bomb planted on board, resulting in the deaths of all 224 passengers and crew. Don't forget to press the like button, subscribe and comment. What do you think of these air disasters? An Antonov AN-26 military transport aircraft crashed near Latakia, Syria, during a landing attempt. The crash claimed the lives of all 39 people on board. An Indonesian Air Force Hercules C-130 aircraft crashed into a residential area in Medan, Indonesia. The crash claimed the lives of 142 people, including military personnel and civilians on the ground. Oh dear. The aircraft carrier USS Forrestal experienced a catastrophic fire while on duty in the Gulf of Tonkin during the Vietnam War. 
The fire, which was triggered by a rocket accidentally firing from an aircraft, resulted in the deaths of 134 crew members and the loss of numerous aircraft. Ilyushin Tu-76 military transport aircraft operated by the Ukrainian Air Force was shot down by pro-Russian separatists near Luhansk, Ukraine. The crash resulted in the deaths of all 49 people on board. Hyderabad, located in southern India, is the capital city of the state of Telangana. Hyderabad is also known for its expansive urban development with modern infrastructure and a growing skyline. This accident took place on 11th of November 2019, close to Kachaguda railway station near Hyderabad. An MMTS train and an express train had a head-on collision between Kachaguda Malakpet railway stations in Hyderabad. Six coaches of MMTS service and three coaches of Hungary Express were affected, while 16 passengers were injured. The driver of MMTS train is trapped in the mangled loco. Preliminary investigations suggest that the driver of the MMTS train failed to locate the signal and overshot it. How unbelievable. What do you think about this reason? You know, the aftermath of the train disaster was not just confined to physical wounds. Emotional scars ran deep forever etched in the hearts of survivors and the loved ones left behind. Don't forget to press the like button, subscribe, and comment what do you think of these train disasters. A train carrying hazardous materials derailed and caused a chemical fire near a village near the Pennsylvanian border. Nearly half of the village of 4,761 residents were told to evacuate late Friday. The village remained under a state of emergency and evacuation order. People said that there had been a drastic temperature change in a rail car, which could cause a catastrophic tanker failure, making it possible for an explosion with deadly shrapnel traveling up to a mile. A Brightline train slammed into a car carrier trailer in Broward County amid severe rain and flooding. A shock video shows the moment a Brightline train slams into a car carrier in Hollywood. The truck appears to have been stuck on the tracks. The crash happened, sending several cars flying off that trailer. Take a look at the aftermath of the accident. The damaged cars lining Dixie near Washington Street and a light also came tumbling. Andhra Pradesh is a state located in southern part of India. A lorry hit Anandad Express at a level crossing in Anantpur district of Andhra Pradesh. A granite-loaded lorry hit the AC coaches of Bengaluru Nanded Express near Madagascara of Panukonda Mandal of Anantapur district around 2.30 a.m. The train was traveling in excess of 100 miles per hour before the accident. It's a terrible accident in the northeast regional. Viral video of two fatal train crashes prompt you call for driver caution at railroad crossings. Little did passengers on this train know that their journey would take an unthinkable turn. As the train embarked on its scheduled route, the rhythmic chugging of the locomotive echoed through the carriages, creating a sense of familiarity and security. But within moments, chaos erupted. Catastrophic failure occurred, and the train careened off the tracks with an ear-splitting screech. Metal twisted and buckled under the immense force. Windows shattered, and passengers were violently jolted in all directions. The deafening silence that followed the initial impact was quickly replaced by screams of terror and pain. The once bustling train was now a scene of devastation. A 
terrible accident. Taiwan releases dramatic footage of train crash which killed 50 people in 2021. Prayers and condolences to all families involved. Dashcam footage captures Springfield, Ohio train derailment. After watching this video, one person shared her safety secret that, and that is the exact reason I stay about three car lengths away from the tracks when I'm waiting on a train. I'd highly recommend that everyone start doing that. If the train starts to derail like that, then you need time and room to get the hell out of the way. What do you think about this? Should we follow her advice for our own safety? Do you know that there was a train that was traveling at a speed of 111 miles per hour in an area with a speed limit of 50 miles per hour? Can you believe it? Well, the accident occurred on July 24th, 2013, near the city of San Diego de Compostela in northwestern Spain. The train, a high-speed passenger service known as the Alvia, was traveling from Madrid to Farol with 222 passengers on board. As the train approached a curve known as Agrandera, it was traveling at an excessive speed, well above the recommended limit. The driver failed to slow down in time, causing the train to derail and overturn, resulting in a devastating crash. Giglio Island, also known as Isola del Giglio, is a small island located in the Tyrrhenian Sea off the coast of Tuscany, Italy. The coastline of Giglio Island features a combination of sandy beaches and rocky cliffs. Costa Concordia disaster occurred on January 13, 2012, when the cruise ship Costa Concordia ran aground and partially capsized off the coast of Giglio Island, Italy. The ship was carrying over 4,200 passengers and crew members. The disaster unfolded when the Costa Concordia deviated from its planned course and sailed too close to the island. The ship struck a submerged rock, which tore a large gash in its hull, causing it to take on water and lose stability. As a result, the ship tilted to one side and eventually capsized, partially sinking in the shallow waters near the island. The MV Sewell disaster occurred on April 16, 2014, in South Korea. The Sewell, a passenger ferry, was carrying 476 people, including many high school students on a field trip to Jeju Island. The ferry capsized and sank off the southwestern coast of South Korea. The tragedy unfolded when the Sewell made a sharp turn, causing it to lose stability and eventually capsize. Investigations revealed several contributing factors to the disaster, including overloading of cargo and structural issues with the ship. The ferry's cargo wasn't properly secured, leading to a shift in weight that contributed to the loss of stability. The MV Sewell disaster claimed the lives of 304 people, making it one of the deadliest maritime accidents in South Korea's history. The aftermath of the MV Sewell disaster was met with widespread outrage and grief in South Korea. The Titanic disaster, which occurred in 1912, is one of the most famous maritime tragedies in history. 
However, on the night of April 14, 1912, the Titanic struck an iceberg in the North Atlantic Ocean and sank, resulting in the loss of more than 1,500 lives. The collision with the iceberg caused significant damage to the ship's hull, leading to the rapid flooding of several compartments. Today, the wreckage of the Titanic rests at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean, about 3,800 meters below the surface. It was discovered in 1985 and has since been the subject of several exploration expeditions, shedding light on the events leading to the ship's demise and providing insights into the lives of those on board. Don't forget to press the like button, subscribe and comment what do you think of these cruise ship disasters. A cargo ship carrying alumina has sunk off the coast of Sakhalin, Russia. The ship had encountered 10-point ice and gave a distress signal on February 23, 2023. The 21 crew members, all Chinese citizens, were forced to abandon ship and went onto the ice before being rescued by another vessel. Alumina is a crucial material used in the production of aluminum. The cargo aboard the sunken ship is estimated to be worth several million dollars. The environmental impact of the incident remains unclear as it's not yet known if any of the cargo has spilled into the sea. The MV Donna Paz was a passenger ferry operating in the Philippines. On that fateful day, December 20, 1987, the ferry collided with the oil tanker MT Vector in the Tabla Strait, resulting in a catastrophic fire and the loss of thousands of lives. The collision took place in the evening when most passengers were either asleep or relaxing on the vessel. The impact of the collision caused the fuel from the oil tanker to ignite, engulfing both vessels in a massive inferno. The fire spread rapidly, fueled by the highly flammable cargo of the oil tanker and the wooden construction of the ferry. The number of casualties came to around 5,000 people, making it one of the deadliest peacetime maritime disasters ever recorded. Unbelievable. The cargo ship SS El Faro, owned by Tote Maritime, was en route from Jacksonville, Florida to San Juan, Puerto Rico, when it encountered Hurricane Joaquin in the Atlantic Ocean. The El Faro disaster was a tragic maritime incident that occurred on October 1, 2015. During the voyage, the ship lost propulsion and suffered a significant list, making it vulnerable to the storm's forces. Distress calls were made and the crew reported that the ship had taken on water. Tragically, the El Faro eventually sank and all 33 crew members aboard were lost at sea. So sad. God is always with them. Torquay is a coastal town located in Devon, England, known for its marina and boating activities. It attracts luxury yachts and super yachts, offering a range of services and facilities for yacht owners and visitors. The boat, an 85-foot princess which is thought to be worth £6 million, reportedly drifted out into the harbour after the fire broke out on board and the rope securing it to the pier burnt through. You can see thick plumes of black smoke pouring from the vessel into the sky. The incident had 
cause traffic blocks in both directions along Torbay Road. Lake Powell is one of the largest reservoirs in the United States. It's situated within the Glen Canyon National Recreation Area, spanning the border between Arizona and Utah. The lake is surrounded by stunning red rock cliffs, canyons and mesas, showcasing the unique geology of the region. It's situated within the Colorado Plateau, known for its rugged landscapes and striking geological formations. June 7th. A video of the flames could be seen from a distance as a dock of boats caught fire. It happened on Lake Powell in Arizona. A business owner who was nearby said he used a garden hose to try and put out the flames until firefighters arrived. About 10 houseboats burned for roughly 90 minutes. A witness said, as the fire was coming up, the wind was blowing the fire almost sideways. Andiamo is a luxury yacht built by the Italian shipyard, Benetti. It measures approximately 197 feet in length and boasts an elegant and modern design. The Andiamo yacht fire was a notable incident that occurred on November 16, 2020 in Miami, Florida. The fire broke out while the Andiamo yacht was docked at Island Gardens Marina in Miami, a popular destination for luxury yachts. The fire quickly engulfed the yacht, causing thick plumes of smoke to rise into the air. Firefighters worked diligently to control and extinguish the fire, battling both the flames and the challenges posed by the yacht's size and complexity. Their efforts focused on protecting nearby vessels and preventing the fire from spreading further. Despite the firefighters' efforts, the Andiamo yacht sustained significant damage from the fire. The intense flames and the efforts to extinguish them resulted in visible structural damage, particularly to the yacht's upper decks and superstructure. Don't forget to press the like button, subscribe, and comment what do you think of these yacht fires. It seems that the pole light is the ideal stop for some cars that love strange sensations on the road. <laughs> and road sign pole too. <laughs> Watch till the end and let us know your thoughts in the comments section. Don't forget to press the like button, subscribe and comment what do you think of these interesting moments. bustling city street in China, a heartwarming scene unfolded as a police officer in Mianyang, China was seen coming to the aid of an elderly man who became stranded in the crosswalk of a busy street, hoisting the senior onto his back and piggybacking him to safety. In that moment, the boundaries between law enforcement and the community blurred as the officer embodied the spirit of service, going above and beyond to ensure the well-being of those he swore to protect. only police. A taxi driver got off the car and guided the blind man across the road when the man was stuck in the middle of the zebra crossing. Other drivers slowed down and waited for them. The kindness of the police also includes cute animals. California Highway Patrol officers were literally scrambling to prevent a chicken running. Dozens of chickens blocked a portion of Interstate 605 near LA after their cage fell from a truck. 
<laughs> Unbelievable. A man ran into traffic on a busy road at Burley Heads to save a koala from being hit. So kind-hearted. There are many other interesting moments as well. Please stay and watch our next videos. Phew. An unbearably adorable video has been doing the rounds of a mother bear and her cubs stopping traffic to cross the road. Two big rigs square off in road rage encounter on I-49. Looks like two drivers are not able to control their anger and they obstruct the traffic on the highway in this way. Incredible dash camera video has emerged of a tractor trailer truck, narrowly missing, hitting a child who had just exited a bus. Luckily, the driver of the truck slams on the brakes just in time to avoid hitting the child. The incident happened on June 19th in Hallingdal, Norway. Many images of heavy equipment transport are normal that you can see on the road. Heavy snowfall across the metro Vancouver region on a Tuesday night led to what many called a gong show, with cars slipping and sliding on the icy roads and commuters getting stuck for hours on major routes. What do you think about this kind of natural disasters? Do not forget to subscribe, like and comment here. Thanks for watching.